hey, gang, I just wanted to uh, poke my head in and deliver a little bit of a rant and explain why if some of you are looking for my novels and plays on Amazon.com, why you can't find them anymore. Well, it has to do with this, this right here. Now, this is a power brick that, according to the third-party seller's claims on Amazon.com, is supposed to deliver 50 amps. Yeah, something this small delivers 50 amps? I, I should have known as soon as the package arrived that it was complete and utter bull. And also, by the way, if you look at the item, and I'm not going to link it, they don't need, well, they deserve, but they don't need people complaining to them other than me. If you look at the picture on Amazon.com, they deliberately whited out the output portion of the label so you can't tell whether or not you're getting what you're getting. Well, needless to say, I was a little annoyed. So when they arrived last week, I went through the company's procedures to do a return and they ignored me. I never heard back from them. So this morning, I started to do a refund on Amazon.com and then the company wanted me to pay to ship it back to them, even though they're basically committing mail fraud by advertising this product as something completely different and then refusing to take it back. So I ended up talking in chat with a Amazon customer service representative who at least seemed very helpful and offered to give me a refund on my uh, gift card balance. I air quotes because there's no actual card involved in an Amazon gift card. It's just outdated. But I eventually agreed and he said that he would run it through. And then my chat window got hijacked and transferred to another agent who said, we can't do anything for you. And I said, uh, I'm sorry, but he just promised that he could do this. And the person said, we aren't going to do anything. So I demanded the number for corporate, which he refused to give to me. I asked for an escalation. He refused to give it to me. And so I said, okay, I'm now deleting my books from Amazon one by one because he would not provide me with information about escalation. Well, I think when I got to around the eighth book, he may have started panicking, and I got a supervisor on the line who was snide, condescending, just a general all-around asshole. Again, I'm not going to give his name. Corporate knows his name, so... They can give him a cake for being a complete and total dick to a customer because that seems to be the Amazon way of doing things lately. So eventually he gave me a phone number, which I called and they said, oh, no, we're not connected with Amazon corporate. We can't do anything for you. And I just said, OK, that's it. So I wrote Amazon a very nice letter and explained why I was going to cancel my Prime membership, which I've had since day one of Prime being offered. In fact, I have been a loyal customer of Amazon going back to 1998 and letting them know why I was canceling my Prime. I also canceled my Audible membership, which hurt me a little because, again, I was with Audible ages, ages ago. So that's going to hurt me losing Audible, but... I don't want to deal with a customer that, I mean, with a company that treats their customers like shit and seems to revel in it. So that's why you can't get my books on Amazon anymore. That's why I quit Prime. That's why I quit Audible. And that's why I advise all of you to do the same. Until Amazon remembers the customer service it was built upon in the first place. But hey, I just needed to get that off my chest. Thank you very much for 
listening to me rants.